Hey, we're at the Ice Institute here in Sioux Falls checking out some of the ice fishing gear. And we are at the HT booth, and we've got a variety of different rod and reel combos here. And I've got Brian from HD. Brian, tell us a little bit more about the different combos you guys have got here on display that will be here for winter on Ice Fishing 2019. Sure. Um, basically, we have uh, actually multiple different kinds. Um, most come with different handles um, for different action. Um, if you're fishing for bigger fish like uh, walleyes and northerns, we recommend a longer handle. Um, if you're looking more for um, for panfish, um, you're looking for a shorter handle. Um, these are actually perfect. Um, this is our Addix Pro XT. Comes with the total tech total touch technology where as you can see my hand right here um, I'm touching the top that goes right through your finger you can feel it all the way in your hand set the hook you're good to go yeah, that looks like a very, very sensitive rod there you got. Oh, it's very sensitive, very sensitive. You, If you touch, just, just barely touch the tip, you're feeling it right through your finger, right into your wrist, right into your arm, and your natural reaction is to lift up. Very nice. And what kind of a, uh, uh, t you mentioned panfish and such, what kind of line would you put on that if you were going to spool it up? Um, I would probably go with uh, six pound mono. Okay. Um, I prefer mono from Suffix. Um, I like that right, mono Dad, just because it question. doesn't, uh, not a lot of memory. Uh, it does stretch a little bit. So if you get bigger fish on, your line's not going to break. Very nice. Now you mentioned, let's go back to the walleye in, in the uh, pike rods. You mentioned there they were over on the other side, I think. Oh, sure. Yeah, we have several actually. Um, one thing you're going to want to look for is is if you fish inside of a shack, um, you're gonna go, go with a smaller uh, guide. Um, and the reason being is, is that the smaller guides, um, if you're in a shack, you know, you, you're, you're not gonna freeze up. Now, if you're out of the shack, we recommend that you go with the wider guides uh, because they, you have a little bit more area so that ice doesn't build up and you're constantly, you know, um, getting ice out of the guides, so. So with the more of a panfish rod, you're recommending like about a six pound test. Now, when we get into tackling those northern and some of those walleye, what would you recommend in that? that I, I would probably go to eight to ten. Okay. Yep. Eight to ten mono, or um, you can always use braid too. Uh, you do, it doesn't have to be as sensitive with larger fish as you do with panfish. So I would probably go with a eight to ten mono and a you know eight to ten uh, braid, and you should be fine. Now I see three different color of reels here. You've got a blue one on the right here. We've got a silver and on the other side we have a black. What really is the big differences between the different reels on the rods? Um, there's not a lot of difference. Uh, as you can see with the ice blues, this one's made out of a foam um, here with the um, with the fly reel. Um, this one's a foam um, slash cork combo. Uh, and then you have the all cork um, all cork handle here. And it's a matter of uh, uh, feel. Um, and cork's a little bit more expensive, so those rods are going to be a little bit more expensive than the foam um, handled rods. Um, to me, it's pretty close into what you feel with the bite. Um, there's not a lot of difference, so I guess it's just a matter of preference, what you feel comfortable with. Which a show like this is a great place to come and actually touch and oh, feel yeah. a lot of them. Yeah, you can feel all the rods <laughs> you want. All, you, everybody's got rods here, but uh, yeah, we you know come on down and um, we our price points are really really good, and we like to get you you know either if you're a novice or if you're a pro, uh, we can get you into something, um, get you out on the ice. Brian, if people want to find out more information about the HT line of uh, ice fishing uh, devices, where can they go to check those out? They can go to htice.net. And that, that goes right to our website. That sounds great. We'll put that link in the description below so you guys can check it out. We are at the Ice Institute in Sioux Falls, South Dakota.